all right so welcome back to my channel this is another vlogmas and so okay i'm wearing the selena mac and big bertha but anyways today i do want to talk about a very traumatic event uh, basically I it is December um, around December there's this little thing called the nutcracker that comes out it's a ballet if you ever been to it then you know what I'm talking about if you've never been to a ballet you don't know what the nutcracker is then get cultured okay so this was years ago, so mind you, like, I don't know, I don't remember all the details, because this was years ago. This was, I want to say 2015, so like six years ago, maybe, and it was, so it was a long time ago, and so, okay, basically, I always wanted to, like, I wanted to go to the ballet, I wanted to, like, get real dressed up like look cute glam um have have just like that oh my god looks so nappy hold on okay i always wanted to have this like that um experience right so i did invite a friend and he was supposed to be my date i bought the tickets because it was like something i wanted to do it was something I wanted to do, okay? So, like, obviously, like, I'm inviting someone, so I bought the tickets. But he was like, oh, like, I'll pay for dinner, and, and it was downtown, and he's like, I'll pick you up, and we'll go to dinner, and whatnot. My, my eye is itching. Okay, so, I was like, cool. So, I want to say I bought the tickets probably back in... It was like, it was in October or something, and then some things happen, which we'll keep it short and sweet. So some things happen, and he got really, like, we'll say distant. So I was just kind of like, um, hey, like, you know, he never once mentioned that like he wasn't gonna go right so basically long story short I get stood up but leading up to getting stood up was like he ne he just like never said anything but I would have a dream of him standing me up I kept having like this reoccurring dream like he was gonna I was gonna get stood up he wasn't gonna go and so basically a couple weeks go by and I'm like oh like he hasn't said anything so I'm pretty sure he's still gonna go because I would think you would think people would have some decency which they don't I honestly don't give people the benefit of the doubt if you feel like something's off and wrong it most likely is and they're not gonna do right by you like most people 95% of the time 99% of the time they're not gonna do right by you so yeah um basically what happened was it was kind of like the day before I had already told my friend I was like my one of my girls and I was like hey like do you want to go because I don't think so and so is gonna go and she was like hey like yeah I'm, I'm down to go if they don't go Literally, I think it was like right until the day before. It's so cringe telling the story. Oh, I cringe. I cringe. It was the day before. It was either the day of or the day before. But it was like right cutting close to time to go. And so this guy was like, no, I'm not going to go. I think that's how it went honestly don't remember he didn't end up going and I was just like you know what you are such a piece of um but 
I to this day hate the Nutcracker. I know it's not like this big dramatic story, but you guys like nothing hurts the heart more than being stood up and being stood up for something that was like you guys had planned months before. You were so excited and then you kind of get into an issue and then they just like literally drop you like you're nothing. So I honestly, I think I, I expected more from this person and then after that I was like oh like you're just like <laughs> your typical man so um but that day of the Nutcracker it was so hard to watch you guys I swear I sat there in the little ballet studio air arena or whatever it's called dying inside I just literally felt so sick I was so sad and I was like, I never want to see the Nutcracker again. I just like can't stand it. I hear the music for the Nutcracker, like it plays in commercials and stuff. And I just get like, I want to throw up. I'm like, this is trauma. I'm getting like a flashback memory. This is trauma. But yes, yeah, so. I don't think I'll ever see the Nutcracker again. And, and it's just like. I and this and this is why I don't like going on I don't like going on dates or planning anything with a man because men are so disappointing like for the most part. I know not every single guy out there is a horrible person, but like majority of them are. So okay. So yes. I didn't learn after that honestly to be honest they'd be like oh i learned and i never talked to him again and blah blah, blah. no i want to say like maybe two years after <laughs> two years after that uh or so but yeah i yeah i have strong feelings towards the nutcracker now no hate to the Nutcracker, but I, f I hate it, bro. I hate it. And then every time I see the little Nutcracker figurines and the little ballerina and all the little characters and, like, Christmas decor, it just, like... Uh, but, yes, I just wanted to share some experiences here on my channel. Um, let me know. Comment down below if you've ever been stood up. Until next time, thank you.